uh, uh, director of the Luminous Group, and give you a, a look at why this is an exciting platform to dance. We wanted to take just a few minutes today to show you where we're headed with the Longhorn platform. And really, the Longhorn platform is about one thing. It's about all of us working together as an industry to introduce the next generation of applications. Applications that are fast and easy to develop. Applications that are secure and connected. Applications that are cost effective to deploy and manage. And most of all, applications that leverage today's hardware to deliver a redefining end user experience. Well, let's start by taking a look at, a sneak peek at, uh, the Longhorn user interface and how we're using this new graphics infrastructure to improve it. So right away, you'll notice some of the transparency effects and glass effects. If you look closely, you can see the reflection. We're using pixel shaders here and vector-based graphics to scale this opportunity to give you this transparency. You can see some beautiful drop shadows. Let me start this video here so you can see us render this live. You can see as I drag the window over, you see a beautiful blur effect happening. We're also using this to redefine the aesthetic, but also to, as a functional design principle in the way that we're building windows. So we're giving the user cues, highlights on the buttons, animations in opening and closing windows. Let me slow that down so you can get a good look at it. And again, using the graphics hardware to create this very rich experience. You can see us use this idea of transparency, of visualization throughout the system. And Arvind's going to come up in a minute and talk to you a little bit about some of the information management capabilities that leverage this as well. But this is just the beginning. It's going to get so much better as we head into betas and the final RTM. So in addition to the aesthetic, this graphics infrastructure is also going to solve some key problems that exist today. One of those key problems